Comparatives in French. So we're starting this video and today I thought, man, am I gonna shoot this video because I have, you know, like a damn spot on my face. I love it when that happens. You wake up in the morning, first thing you see is that, you know, the thing that is right in the middle of your face and no one can miss. Um, I try to hide it. I try to, you know, cover it with makeup and made it even worse. I got an allergic reaction. Now it's all red. But it's not a good reason to stop learning French and teaching it. So I hope you're on board with me for this lesson because we're going to cover comparatives in French. And this is really exciting material. So if you want to see how it works, hop aboard and let's get this show on the road. <laughs> so comparisons, what are they? They are used to compare elements with one or more other elements. And you already know that. So table that you can see on screen here says it all. Here are the details, in other words. More than, in French, we're going to say plus, grand, que. Let's, let's take big as the adjective. More, bigger than, more big than, okay, is going to be plus grand que. This is a great thing about French, man. Great thing. In English, you have all those bigger, better, stronger. It can be a headache for the person who doesn't really know how to uh, transform those adjectives into the competitive form. But in French, well, mostly we have plus, then the adjective, and then que. It's one of the rare things that is actually easier in French than it is in English. As, as, aussi grand que, as big as, aussi grand que, less, big, than, moins grand que, and not as, as, not as big as, ne pas être aussi grand que. And we're going to take a whole deal, no, a great deal of examples uh, right here. We have a ton and they are necessary right now because this is too dry. We've already covered that. Everybody can cover that. The point is not to cover just a table. Otherwise, I have no purpose uh, to you uh, in this lesson. So the examples, more than Bill Gates is more intelligent than a mechatronic robot. More intelligent than, plus intelligent que. And here is the contracted form of que. Que with an apostrophe Y because it is followed by a vowel, okay? Qu'un, qu'il, qu'on. Interesting, right? But this is how it works. Bill Gates is more intelligent than a mechatronic robot. Bill Gates est plus intelligent qu'un robot mechatronique. And if we put those two bad boys on a ring, I have no idea who would win because on the one hand, we have a robot and it's really solid here. We're talking about metal, steel. That thing won't break, but it's pretty dumb. It's a robot. A mechatronic robot here it doesn't even have like you know those super cool AI technologies that allow the robot to sort of move in space and to detect the environment. No, this is just a robot. It can move. It cannot move. But then we have Bill Gates on the other end of the ring, and I have no idea how those two guys would fight. Like if Bill Gates would start hitting the robot with his fist, but then he would hurt, or maybe he would try to get some acid from the crowd because it would be a crowd cheering and then some guy would throw a bottle of acid to Bill Gates but then Bill Gates instead of you know like having the bottle of acid break on, on his on his on his head and you know like being disintegrated by the acid he would just like grab the bottle of acid and then pour it on the robot I have no idea what would happen but it's pretty exciting to imagine that it would happen Bill Gates against a mechatronic robot on a ring as as flying a car is as interesting as driving a drone with wheels well that's debatable piloter une voiture volante est aussi intéressant que conduire une conduire un drone avec des roues as interesting as aussi intéressant que pretty straightforward isn't it straightforward now what does the last and we're going to cover that in a second. But what does the last comparative, uh, what does it make that one so special? It is that we have a negation before the, compar the comparison. 
and we're going to cover that in a second. But in the meantime, we have less than. Cravat invests less time and energy changing the world than Braca. Cravat investit moins de temps et d'énergie à changer le monde que Braca. Less than. Moins que. Clear as water. Clear as crystal. Clear as a bell. Three easy ones. Admittedly, very easy, very similar to English. More than, as, as, less than. Plus que, aussi que, moins que. And I hope I'm not going too fast here because I have a tendency to go fast when I'm excited and when I love the topic that I talk about. But if you think I go too fast, you can always leave a comment and say, man, take a chill pill, man. We need to slow down. And the last one is the most interesting one is not as, as. Catalysts are not as expensive as a water turbines. Les catalyseurs ne sont pas aussi coûteux que les turbines hydrauliques. As you can see, there's a beautiful example of a hydraulic turbine here. And what you can see here is the runner. You know, inside here is the runner. It's beautiful to see water pass through that turbine. It has a hypnotic effect. It's a great way to fall asleep if sometimes, you know, you find that even relaxation tapes do not really put you to sleep. You can always watch a water turbine and have your, your eyes hypnotized by the movement of the water. Not as, as. Here we have first in French to um, surround uh, the two uh, negative adverbs uh, to surround and to put in the middle the verb. So that the verb is surrounded by the adverbs. Les catalyseurs ne sont pas. And then we have the comparison form. Aussi coûteux que. So you could say that we jumbled two things in one in French in comparison to English. Not as, as becomes ne, verb, pas, and then aussi, adjective, or it could be also an adverb, and then que. And there you have it. This is how you form comparisons in French. You noticed, you probably noticed by now that here I wrote a, a D, uh, J, and it means adjective, of course, and adverb, A, D, V. So what we did with an adjective can also be done with an adverb. Okay, important. Oops, forgot an M. Plus rapidement que... In English, would say faster than, but here, plus rapidement que, it would be the equivalent with an adverb. And I know that you've heard the following advice a million times. However, it, it's always good to repeat it that you can do an exercise to cement that knowledge and try and see if you actually master the minimum required by the grammar police. Um, <laughs> Uh, as as it pertains to um, comparative adjectives and adverbs by clicking the link below the video and then you'll just have a, a good uh, preview of what it actually is to put that knowledge into practice. I hope you do it. I really like uh, talking to you today and uh, let's see that uh, we'll, we'll see each other pretty soon. And uh, that's that's all for now. Bye for now.